um, and kind of fits in with what you sell. When I flick that in to mobile, that disappears. It would be really cool if you could have the logo on mobile as well so that you're building that brand brand awareness. Uh, the second thing I noticed, which is just a little thing, but when I go to colors, uh, just a second, it should load. Here you've got a small C on colors and all of the other pages seem to have title case. So every letter starts with a capital. So I would just make sure that you're using a uh, consistent casing across all of the different pages. Um, I like your menu. I like the what we do. The colors, I wonder if you could change this to something um, a little bit more descriptive, like our colors even would, would be great. Um, and then you could break them down if you wanted to have drop downs into these different um, collections of of the different flooring types to make it really easy for people. Another thing I'd like to see is an about page on the home. You talk about it being uh, a family business through three generations. Um, have a picture of the family on the about page and build a connection with your customers. Um, again, here we've got the issue where all of these start with capitals and this one starts with uh, lowercase. So just look at making that consistent. Uh, it would be good to also see a message on here that's a bit more about the benefits and why I should pick your flooring over someone else's. So that could be even including the story that it's been going for three generations. You have all of this history, it's sustainable. Um, but the more you could talk about your customers' pain points and how your flooring is going to fix that, that would be great. So maybe that's the durability or maybe it's the sustainability if you're going after businesses that are really interested in uh, showing their, their commitment to sustainability. Uh, so this is the message I was talking about, which could be used on the about page. A uh, really important message about the business, but I would make it smaller. Again, if I flick over into that mobile mode, it's taking up a whole lot of space before I get to see any of these beautiful product images um uh, one other thing i would do on the banner sorry is also add add a button so that could be in its most simplest form it would be find out more uh, or get a quote or you could do a download to um, something like an interior design guide or how to pick the perfect flooring for your building get a catalog something like that where your people are exchanging their email address for information and you're getting them on your mailing list um but yeah make this a bit smaller so that on mobile it's not taking up the whole screen and i'm not having to scroll so much also we've got this black banner here um so you may need to resize this image so that when we're on a smaller screen size we don't get that black band or space in there. Uh, again just another small thing just for consistency I would make these all the same size move this text up so that it sits kind of all flush these two are fine but then this one the image is a different dimension uh, so it sits up a little bit further and it just looks a little bit um, messy 
all these little things I know they're small but they do help to show professionalism and build that trust with the customer people are trained to kind of see these little things unknowingly uh, subconsciously sorry when they're looking at websites now uh, in the footer here we are missing our uh, legal policies so that's the privacy statement refund terms and conditions um, those all need to be included on every website I mean I doubt someone's going to try and return their flooring but you never know. <laughs> um, there's also no newsletter sign up on the page. So again, you could add that in on the home page somewhere and it could be as simple as get our catalog, but it would be really great to offer some amazing value to these potential clients um, giving it, uh, it's a higher price point product. I imagine then something small like clothing or accessories. So an interior design guide with um, beautiful imagery or how to pick your flooring, how to plan for your build, something along those lines that's really going to be helpful to your customer at the point in time that they are investigating what type of flooring they're going to use. Um, so we have a look. So these are um, essentially what I would call the collection pages. This is how you've grouped your, your types of product, which is great that you've done that um, when it loads. Sorry about the delay, guys. So I would change this out for a lighter brighter image or make it a little bit shorter so it's not taking up that whole space above the fold and I can see some of this information without having to scroll uh, I would also like to see the names of the buildings that these have been used in some of them I think look like quite high profile buildings so adding that name on there is going to give some social proof is that oh look the museum uses our flooring if it's good enough for the museum it's good enough uh, for you kind of thing so make the images a bit bigger move some of them up you could potentially have all the images to the left and bigger so you have two columns so on one side you have your images and then on the right side you have the name of the building the type of flooring that's been used um, the color that's been used and then that's just going to give a little bit more information and con context about what people are looking at and as I said give them uh, a bit of social proof Another thing that I'd really like to see, obviously every job is going to be different and you need to quote these things up, um, but you could have a price starting from, I don't know, $150 per square meter or whatever it is, just to give people an idea um, of what they're getting into. Sometimes people assume if there's no price on something that it's, really expensive and out of their budget and they may not inquire uh, so I would make this top paragraph bigger again add the images to the left with some text down the side and maybe add some of this information underneath the images so that we get those nice images and that social proof and all that really important information higher up on the page and then have the contact us for a free quote at the top and then duplicate it at the bottom of the page as well and then again I would add in the sign up for whatever the freebie is that you end up creating and adding to the home page and just constantly remind people 
um, in case they missed it on the first page. Uh, on the colors again potentially break these down into collections as well so that people can skip to write what they're looking for uh, you could either do you could even do you could do both is have outdoor flooring indoor flooring um, if there's something that's better for a use in a home versus commercial or something like that um, add as many ways as possible for people to find the product and the information that they need because everyone's different in the product photos or oh, project photos sorry I would maybe change that to um, our work it's just a bit more friendly than project photos I would maybe make these bigger as well so that they sit so it's kind of like a slideshow like this size at the top of the page so people can scroll through and see it in full detail because when you get these nice big images and you can really see the colors and the, the detail it's a lot more inviting and again if you have the names of the the buildings that these were taken in I would add those in there for some more social proof on to sustainability I really like that you've got this this page and you've got that commitment to sustainability I think that's a nice selling point for your customer For the banner image, I would change this out for one of your images. Um, potentially, if one of the businesses you know are really big on sustainability and they've used your flooring, I would chuck them up there. Um, make this image of the museum bigger, take up the full width. This is really nice having it in two columns, it makes it easy to read. Again, make this image full width um, and also add some a newsletter sign up or download at the bottom of this page as well. Um, thinking about it now, you could potentially even do a guide on building or designing a sustainable building. On to contact. okay I mean you got a contact form and all the information here which is great the only other thing I would add here is your expected response time uh, maybe a phone number some people may prefer to have a phone call and you could even ask some other questions around what it is that people are looking for so that when you call them it's a really nice experience or when you email them and you already have an idea what they want and you can answer their questions straight off the bat rather than only getting like very minimal details and then having to contact someone and say well how can we help you you know what I mean overall I think it's a really beautiful site it fits nicely with the products that you're selling um, just a few small design things that you could add to just make it really pop and then those downloads to collect the email addresses and start nurturing those relationships with those people because I imagine this is um, potentially quite a long um, cycle to get people to buy so the more information you can provide the more helpful you are throughout that process the more inclined they're going to be to come and use you when it's time to actually buy on the product page um, give people an idea of the price by doing starting from it doesn't have to be the exact price add the names of your customers for social proof and you could also bundle things if people are fitting out an entire building 
um, have a page where you match the different flooring like this would look really good in the kitchen this would look great in the foyer this is perfect for the tile and show people how they can fit it all together and make a full full building flooring plan um, and then encourage them to spend more money with you and get everything done in one place hope that was helpful let me know if you have questions bye